Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today, I just want to talk to you about my favorite carry-on bags. So, you know, I usually, when we go on an airplane, I take a rolling carry-on bag that I put some things in that I don't want to check, but then I also take on a soft carry bag, like, it would be considered your personal item and in it like if I'm traveling somewhere that I'm taking a, a purse with me I put my purse in here I also put like I always put my makeup in here because I don't want to get somewhere and not have that and I also put like medicine that is like prescription medicine that I don't want anything to happen to and then I slide in like my laptop and I usually will put in um, like a few snacks just handy things to have like that and then I also have some things that I keep in here all the time just in case you start um, like wishing that you had like um, some Pepto-Bismol that's chewable I always keep some little hand sanitizing wipes I keep some Kleenex and I keep some band-aids just things that you always want to have with you on every trip and I just leave them in here so that they're always there so that I don't actually accidentally forget them so this is my very Bradley bag. I love this bag. I don't work for Vera Bradley anything. I just love this bag. It has the nice little thing right here that you put over like when you have the handle of your um, like rolling carry-on up you can just hook it on so that it won't slide off. It stays really nice. Another thing I love about this bag is that it like when you don't have anything in it, it weighs almost nothing. And so that's really nice. So you don't start out with a heavy bag. The other thing that I really like is, you know what, it is made out of, you know, fabric like Vera Bradley bags are. But this bag has lasted and lasted. I got it, I believe, in 2014, either 14 or 15. And it has been um, all over the world with me. And the only place that it's starting to share some show some wear is here on my little handles. And um, but other than that, it is not showing anywhere. And I mean, it has been like all over the United States on flights. It's been to Europe <clears throat> a couple of times a year, every year since then. And um, is held up and the thing that I really like is that when you are first going on your trip you can have those things and then you have extra space but then if you go on a trip and you buy something that's fragile or um, something that you don't that is you're kind of considering is irreplaceable then you can put it in here and this bag expands like you can fill her up and um, when it is filled up all the way <clears throat> and zipped closed you can still wiggle it and slide it underneath the seat in front of you just in regular economy class you don't have to be in first class to be able to fit it under the seat and it also fits in the overhead compartments just fine on an airplane but um, you can wiggle it under your seat even if it is full all the way so I did get it off of verabradley.com and like I said it's called the weekender this actual print um, is not available anymore but they have lots of different prints and so um, I'm usually generally not too much of a print person in my life but Vera Bradley bags I just love their prints something about them makes me just happy they're fun to look at and so one of the things I do really like about her bags is they have like all these pockets can you see down in there we've got these really nice big pockets and so it kind of helps you slide some things in your bag and then like on this side there are three um, slightly smaller pockets and so <clears throat> it works really nice to like stick if you want to stick your sunglasses down one or your jewelry pouch or um, if you get a Diet Coke and you want to know where it is you can slide it in there after you go through security get that or um, your bottle of water whatever you want but it is really an awesome bag I love this bag I am going to keep having bags like this and so if you want to get you one like it it is um, like I said it's called the weekender and you can only get this kind on verabradley.com or in one of their um, company stores like a real Vera Bradley store not a factory store so let me show you the bag that I just recently got at the factory store that is comparable because I was there and I even asked just recently and they don't sell the weekender at the factory store and so this you only get there and so I'm trying to think what else to tell you oh I should say also this really nice zipper back part out here I always keep the strap in here because they have a shoulder strap that you can easily just clip on and um, so sometimes I use that if I'm like in a at a point when I need to so it's really nice to be able to hook it over your shoulder and it is adjustable it's 
See, it's got the little thing there. But um, so this is really nice. So that comes in handy. And then I just, you can, if you just need to slide something out here, like I always slide my phone in this outside pocket when I'm going through security because it's so handy that you can just easily get it back out again. And so um, security at the airport is what I was thinking, but it works at security everywhere if you can't have your phone with you. It's really a nice way to, to tuck it in. So it's just perfect. It's about a bit, as big of a bag as you can have and still fit it in underneath that seat in front of you on the airplane. So I love that it uses that space all up and I really like that it's soft and like I said, doesn't weigh anything. So it's an awesome bag. Now at the, um, at the factory store, the one that they have that is comparable here, I got this little print because I thought the little polar bears were so cute. This is called the Grand Traveler Bag. And I left the tag on because I just got it and I wanted to tell you about it. It's $149, but usually, at least at the factory store that's close to us, they usually have a sign in the window that says 70% off. And so that makes a huge difference. Although with this bag, I remember that I got it on sale because I always wait for a sale for things like that. But even if I paid $149 for that bag, it is worth it to me. Like, I love this bag. It has been that good of a bag. And so, um, anyway, so this they call the Grand Traveler bag. And um, there's it's a little bit different. It still has, like, this pocket, like, the little slide thing that you can put it over the handle of your suitcase. And it is a, it's slightly taller, though. And so I think, you know, you can, the other, I do like about these bags that if it's not quite full, it'll just, you know, crunch down a little bit. And you can slide it under the seat in front of you. But I think, honestly, that if you have this bag packed to the gills all the way full, I don't know that you can get it underneath that seat in front of you. If you had soft stuff that you could kind of push on and slide in there, I'm sure you could because like the length is just almost identical. I checked that. And um, so the only difference is it's a little bit taller of a bag, okay? And these days they're making the handles just slightly different. See how it's flat and then they just fold it over and sew it, but it's still really nice. I think it'll be really durable. The pockets inside, it's still lined. I do like this. Both bags are lined with this kind of slicky stuff. And so if something spills, like if um, you eat part of a candy bar and you leave it in there and you need to wipe it out or anything else spills, you can get it out really nicely because I actually have done that before. So it cleans up really good. But these pockets now are made of this net, net kind of meshy stuff. And in a way, I think that's nice because you can really see what's in the pockets without having to just put your hand in there and feel, feel around, especially if the bag is already, um, you know, quite full. So that's kind of nice. And now they just have like two bags, I mean, sorry, two pockets. You can see two pockets on this side. And then on this side right here are two other pockets. And so you can fit really quite a lot of stuff. And one thing that I think is nice is this pocket, now the way they're doing it, is it has this zipper pocket right here. And so like, it does come with the um, handle, the shoulder strap like the other one. And so when I start using it, I will probably just tuck it in there. But I like this is even bigger so that you can put more in there. And it kind of uses, I think, the whole side of the bag a little bit better. But this is also a very, very lightweight bag. And so if you live by a um, Vera Bradley factory store and you want to get one of these, I think it would work great. Like I said, you'll just have to remember or maybe try it out. You know what, maybe I'll take this one on our next trip. I'll take this one and see how it um, slides under. But I have a feeling that if it's all the way full, it's not gonna quite fit under the seat in front of us. But we can maybe crunch it down if it's not quite full. Well, I'm sure you can crunch it down because look, if you just have it flat like this, see how small it gets? And so that's really nice. So I just wanted to show you these bags. A couple of really nice people asked me about it because they could see it in our embarkation day video. And so I just wanted to kind of let you know about them and why I like it so much and where you can get one if you would like one. And so if I ever find anything that is better, I will let you know. But these are awesome, awesome bags. And like I said, with the shoulder strap, I really like it. I like it better than a backpack because a backpack just kind of like pulls and um, 
it's harder to carry a backpack if it's not on your shoulders. And so I just love this because you can hook it over your shoulder if you want to. You can just carry it, loop it through on your arm if you want. Um, this here is big enough that you can, you know, put it through like this if you want to. And so there are just so many options with this bag that I just, I totally love it. So if you have any questions about it, just put them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. It's just verabradley.com and I will put just verabradley.com in the description box. So if you have appreciated this video and you would like to um, see more videos of ours, will you please consider subscribing to our channel? It's entirely free. It doesn't cost anything. And we would love to have you in our whole big fun community here of people who love to travel and who love to see things if even if they don't want to travel further than watching our videos. We're so happy you're here. And if you've enjoyed this video, will you please give it a thumbs up as well? It just helps um, YouTube let other people know that we're here. And so I will be talking to you again soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.